Okay, so scheduling. Um, scheduling on my little sheet not only has a information thing, but it has all these subtopics too. So, like, scheduling is going to take a long time. As you know, I've been blogging about scheduling the most because of all of everything that's been going on here, the most negative experience has been scheduling. I cannot figure it out. Every time I figure it out, like, they throw another wrench in the system, and then I'm, like, stuck again. Ah! So here are the different things about scheduling that I want to talk about. First are hours. You hear a lot of different rumors before you get down here about how college program students are basically hired to be slave labor because we make less than the other professionals here. But um, the truth of the matter is every department treats their CPs different. And while it is true that we make less and in terms of our peers that are on the same level, we may get more hours, Every department schedules their hours differently. So my friend Dee, who's in merchandising, is always scheduled 40 plus hours and has really long shifts and a lot of her shifts go to like 2 or 3 in the morning. Whereas another friend of mine who is a Kilimanjaro Safari Guide um, works maybe 31, 32, 32 hours if she's lucky. And she doesn't have, oh my roommate just got home and I'm making a vlog. Hey. And she doesn't have the opportunity to pick up other hours. So 32 hours for her is it and that's the max. For me, because I'm in a competitive height range, I'm averaging about 30 to 35 hours. I would be happy with 35 hours, but for the last couple of weeks, I've just been getting 30, 31. So then what I do is I go into pick up shifts, and that gets me to my next topic, which is picking up shifts. I thought I knew how to pick up a shift. I filled out the form, like you have this information on how to pick up shifts, and it gives you the directions on how to do it, and I followed the directions, and then my shift was denied. And this is why. This is very good. This only pertains to people in entertainment. So character attendant, character performer, people. Everybody else, when they want to pick up shifts, goes online and goes to the extra hours hotline. I can't do that because for some reason we're not electronic in the entertainment world. We have a different scheduling system. What I have to do is I have to go to this book where people, when they want to give away shifts, fill out this form. Then they send it to all four parks because each park has its own book. So they'll send their form to all the parks, and then they put it in a book. So then I have to go through the book to find characters that are in my hat range and say, okay, this is the shift that I want to pick up. Well, here's the deal. Let's say somebody picks up the shift from Animal Kingdom and takes it out of the book, but the sheet will stay in the book and the other three parks. So I'm in Magic Kingdom, and I'm like, oh, I want this shift. I try to pick it up, and it says, denied. Somebody else already has this shift. So the books aren't constantly being updated. Like, you never know if that shift is really open or not. So if there are maybe two or three shifts that I want, I can't request all three. Like, I have to just request one. If it gets denied, request the next one. If it gets denied, request the next one. So it's kind of a big old pain in the butt. Anyway, so it was denied. I tried to pick up another shift, and it was denied. And then I got a note that said, you're picking up shifts wrong. You need to do it this way. It's like, huh, that's weird, because I'm following the directions on the sheet of how to pick up shifts from the sheet. So I kind of ignored it. And then I put in another request. That one was approved, but then it said, you're picking up shifts wrong, here's how you need to pick it up. And then it gave me a lot more detailed instructions. So it's kind of like, okay, well that's kind of ridiculous, but at least I'm approved, I'm good to go. Well, then I had to go find out how to actually pick up shifts, because it turns out that the directions on the sheet are wrong. And at least at the Magic Kingdom, there's a big poster on the wall that has the new way to pick up sheets, shifts. Why they don't update it in the book, I don't know, but now I have to look at the poster on the wall. So I go to pick up a shift for the next week, and I'm following the directions on the wall, and I'm entering it in, and it gets denied. This time it gets denied because of a technical glitch. Ugh, glitches. Ah! The reason I was... Disney has this rule where you can't work more than five days because if you work a sixth or seventh day you get paid overtime because it's the sixth or seventh day and it regardless of how many hours you're working so if I'm working 30 hours and I pick up an eight hour shift on my sixth day um, then technically I'm supposed to be paid overtime on the sixth day well here's the deal college programs participants don't get paid overtime for six days so we can pick them up the first person that I submitted the one shift to must have known I was college program probably because I was requesting the shift the wrong way so she let me have it but then the second time when I actually requested the shift the wrong right way it was denied because they said it would be overtime 
Well, it wouldn't really be overtime because I only had 31 hours. I was picking up a five-hour shift, so that would only put me at 36 hours, and I don't fall under the six-day rule. But the thing is, they didn't know that I was CP. So now when I have to apply for a shift, I have to be like, I'm college program, so I can pick up the shift. It won't be overtime for me. But too late now, the shift I wanted, by the time I learned that, was already given away anyway. <laughs> so that's, that's picking up shifts. On the same to topic, you have the shifts that you can pick up, which are essentially somebody else has a shift, they don't want it, so they put it in the book and you can pick it up. They also have what's called open shifts, which are shifts that nobody was scheduled for. So I can pick up open shifts to get myself into overtime. I can't pick up other shifts to put me into overtime, but I can pick up open shifts. The problem is my height range is so competitive and there's so many of us, there are never open shifts in my height range. Or if there are, they're always on the day that I'm already working anyway. So in terms of hours, I had something like 32 and I picked up a shift to get to right to 40. That was the one week where I did it the wrong way. This week, and then the next week, I picked up an open shift. So I was right at 39, I picked up an open shift. So last week I worked 54 hours. That's 14 hours of overtime. I'm so excited for my paycheck tomorrow. This week, because I had a whole bunch of scheduling drama this week with the whole six day thing, I'm only working like 32 hours this week but since I had 54 next last week I was like oh, okay well I'll just suck it up next week however because it's past the 30 day mark for me they can start scheduling me for dining and they're taking full advantage of me being in dining and so next week I have 42 hours and I'm very happy with 42 hours good to go and hopefully now that I can be scheduled for dining I'm going to be hitting the 40 mark and the last part of scheduling, <laughs> this is the whole thing about scheduling that cracks me up, is what are called requested days off. This has been the biggest thorn in my butt. Students who are character performers can only request off, like can only have two requested days off the entire program. I'll repeat that. College program character performers can only request off two days the entire program. But here's the deal. Nobody told us. You go through this extensive training and you actually watch this thing on scheduling, but the thing on scheduling is for everybody. So it's full-time, part-time, seasonal, and CP people all watch the same scheduling training module. Nobody sits us down and tells us how the rules apply to college program students, which is why that whole six day thing got all screwed up. Cause nobody told me about this, like how I had to say I'm college program. I can work the sixth day. It's not until I complain about it that someone's like, Oh, here's how you get around it. Okay. Cause you just told me that from the beginning. So yeah, we only can request off two days. Everybody else that's on the college program can request off as many days as they want. My roommate, who is a lifeguard, has like, gotten 10 days off. Why do we only get two days? Like at first I thought it was a fluke because my first two days I asked off, no problem. Then I asked off three more days. All for legitimate reasons. One was like for the professional internship why next week. Deny, deny, deny. I went to a cast service manager and was like, why, you know, like, am I doing this wrong? And then that's when he told me that we only get two. Currently, entertainment is re-monitoring that rule because they thought all college program people only got two days off. Oh, and then they found out it was just them that were doing that. So it's being re-evaluated. So we'll find out if by the end of the program I can ask off more days. But for the time being, I've already asked off my two days. I can't give them back and say, just kidding, I want different days off. Nope, they're gone. So, wish somebody would have told me that before. Anyway, so that's everything on scheduling. I think I finally am good with scheduling now. Like, I've got 40 hours next week. I know how to pick up shifts. I know how to pick up open shifts. Like, no, I can't ask any more days off, so I'm just stuck. Um, so I think I'm good now, but scheduling has been the most painful process for me since I've been here. Everything else in the job has been wonderful. Oh, just lost my pen. Everything else has been wonderful. So if you're new to the CP or you're thinking about starting the CP, I hope that you learned a lot about the scheduling process because I hope that you don't have the same headaches that I have. So anyway, thanks for sticking through part two, if you did stick all the way through part one and part two, and have a magical day.